In this video I will show you how to send telegram messages for webhook response automatically. So with the help of webhook URL you can connect a different application with the telegram and automate the process of sending the channel messages over telegram. But the condition here is your application should support webhook and that application could be anything an email marketing application or a form builder application or it could be a CRM or any other application as well. So what we will do when we have the webhook URL we will copy and paste that URL in your favorite application and whenever any event happened in your favorite application the data of that application will be automatically received as a webhook response and once we have the data of that application as a response we can send that data as a channel message over telegram so if you also want to connect different application with the telegram with the help of webhook then come with me and i will show you everything step by step so this is my telegram application which i am going to connect with a different application with the help of webhook url and now in this particular video that different application is going to be jot form form builder application now why i am taking the example of jot form because this application actually supports webhook okay in place of jot form you can connect a different application also with the telegram but again the condition is your application should support webhook Okay, and for webhook, I will be using Pabli Connect. It is an amazing and a very cost-effective integration and automation software. And I am an existing user, so I am already logged in in Pabli Connect. You can also create your free account in Pabli Connect in just two minutes from this sign up free button. And in the free account, let me tell you, you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation. Now, once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect, you will have have to firstly click on this blue button that is create workflow and then you will have to provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so currently i have directly pasted the name as send telegram message for webhook response now after providing the name simply click on create and after that you will find two boxes so these boxes are actually called as trigger an action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever something happen in the first application then automatically do this in the next application okay so generally we select the application in this trigger and the action window in which we are building an automation okay but according to our use case in the trigger even I am not going to select any dedicated application but I will search for the webhook okay because my topic is how we can connect a telegram with the help of webhook with different application okay I have selected the same and here with the help of this webhook URL I am going to build a connection in jot form and Pabli connect first and as soon as any event is happened in that application you will notice that the data of that event will be received as a webhook response but here I would like to tell you a very important thing that Jotform already have an integration with the Pabli connect so you can also connect to Jotform with the Pabli connected by directly searching for the very same application here I'm taking the example of Jotform just because this application supports webhook so that I can show you how how webhook actually works okay so let me again search for webhook here and again i am telling you jotform already have a direct integration with the public connect okay so i have selected webhook here and here you can notice a url has been received which i am going to copy and paste it into my application whose data i would like to capture as a webhook response okay in this particular case i am connecting jotform okay so here you can notice i have already created several forms and assume that I would like to capture the form responses of this particular form in Pabli Connect so firstly I am going to edit this form and in this editing form you will find an option of settings over here okay directly click on the setting option and in the left hand sidebar you will find an option of integration now you will have to search for the webhooks okay so here is the search bar let me search for the same and this is the webhook as I have to 
told you that jot form actually supports webhooks okay now here exactly i am going to paste the same webhook url which we have already received via pabli connect and now further i am going to click on this complete integration button and this is how the connection in jot form and pabli connect is successful now this was the way of adding the webhook url in jot form but whenever you are connecting any different application firstly you will have to search for the webhook option once you will find that option you can simply save that webhook url in your favorite application and once the connection is made firstly i'll show you you will have to read the instruction that it is actually waiting for the webhook response okay what it is saying log into the application where you have added the webhook url and do a test submission record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response okay so basically it is asking to do a test submission or record and here the test submission means creation of a new form response in jot form application okay so what i can do is i will directly visit this publish section and here we have the link of the form which i am going to open into a new tab okay and now i am going to submit this form and as soon as the form submission is made you will notice that the same form submission data will be received as a webhook response in public connect okay so you will have to assume that you are actually running some traveling agency for which you have created this inquiry form and as soon as a new inquiry is received you want to automatically share those inquiries over telegram application okay i have not selected telegram here okay so let me select the same but i will connect this application with the public connect later okay so coming back to this inquiry form for traveling and let me submit this form with some dummy details okay so assume that the name of the person is demo the last name is user the phone number is going to be something like this 9 Six 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 six. Okay, so I have added a ten-digit dummy number asking for the email address demo at the rate pamlitude dot com. Okay, so again I am telling that these are just the random details, the dummy details. Number of days to travel to. Okay, I have submitted this form, and you will notice as soon as the submission is made, the details will be received as a uh, by book response. Here you can notice the response is received. Now I will show you the details one by one. Okay, so here we have the very same URL. Here we have the form ID. Here we have the type. Okay, let me now show you other details. Okay, so here we have the very same form name. We also have the details of the customer. Okay, so the first name is same that is demo. The last name is same that is user. Here we also have the phone number and the email address and other data also. Okay, so the presence of this data clearly. shows that the connection in jot form and public connect is working absolutely fine with the help of webhook url okay so in this way with the help of webhook url you can connect your favorite application with the public connect and once you have the data of that application as a webhook response you can easily send that data to different application or to telegram application okay so now it's turn to connect the telegram with the public connect so firstly i will select the trigger event okay so i want to send a message okay so here i will be selecting the same that is send a message okay so here we have the action event send a text message or reply okay simply click on connect click on add a new connection and for the connection it will ask you the token okay so firstly read these instructions carefully okay so firstly you will have to go to your bot father okay so this is my telegram application okay now i am going to search for the bot father okay so well i am already into the bot father okay so i have opened that bot father okay now it is saying that to create a new bot type slash new bot okay let me copy the same and paste it here and wait for the response okay so it is saying all right a new bot how are we going to call it please choose a new username for your bot okay so here i am going to provide some random username okay so how about i provide something like webhook connection okay pressing enter and checking whether this uh, name this username is already exist or not no it is not exist it is saying that good now let's choose a username for your bot okay so as a username i'm going to copy the same thing and will add a underscore and as per the instruction i will also add this underscore bot okay so i have added the same pressing enter and waiting for this and here you can notice it is saying done congratulations on your new bot and here 
here we have received the token as well which i am going to directly copy and paste it here clicking on save and this is how you will notice my telegram application will be immediately connected with the public connect okay and let me tell you a very important thing in case you have any confusion you can also visit this particular documentation okay clicking on save and this is how telegram will be immediately connected with the pabli connect all right so it is connected and now first lady is asking for the chat id okay so you'll have to read the instruction enter the chat id for the target chat okay example this or user name of the uh, target channel okay again a documentation link is provided here so basically you'll have to provide the chat id so here firstly i will search for the group in which i would like to share all my form responses okay so the name of my group was something like traveling agency okay so here we have the group that is sales team of traveling agency now it is up to you whether you would like to share the form responses in a telegram group or in our telegram channel okay i will show you the process for both the cases okay so this is the group and here from this url you can actually receive the id okay so i have copied the same coming back and let me paste the same here and before i proceed further firstly i will visit this particular documentation okay so here you will notice that it is clearly defined that if you are sending the messages in telegram channel your uh, channel id will be added like this but if you are sending the same messages in a telegram group in that case you will have to add this 100 as a prefix along with your channel id okay so currently i am actually sending the messages in a telegram group okay so that is why i will add 100 as the prefix okay so it is done now finally it is asking for the message which you would like to send to your team okay so from here i will compose a very nice message something like hello team members we have received a new inquiry for traveling okay or i can write of traveling okay we have received a new inquiry of traveling i am sharing the details of the inquiry okay kindly follow up that person and try to convert at your best okay and further i am going to attach all the inquiry related details let me also correct the spelling of inquiry here okay so the name of the inquiry is going to be and the interesting thing is i am not going to manually copy the above data and paste it here i am going to map this data okay and mapping is very simple inside pabli connect when you will click on this field you will find the above data here in the drop down now you can search for your data okay so here we have the first name as demo okay so i have added the same and now i am going to add the last name okay so after providing a space i have mapped both the value and in the same way i am going to attach i am going to map all the details okay so now you must be thinking that what is this mapping so whatever the details i am mapping here these details will be replaced automatically when this automate will work in real time in next time okay i am repeating this thing once again as soon as a new webhook response is received as soon as the data of new form response is received as a webhook response that new data will replace this existing value and this is how this automation is going to take place and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation okay and the last entry was number of days to travel okay so here i will also map that particular detail okay so we have the number of days to travel was 2 okay so i have mapped all the important details successfully and now it is asking for the message thread id okay so these are not mandatory fields so currently i am leaving all the details blank and how about i click on this button save and send this request but before i click on this final button here we have a very interesting twist okay 
सो वेन एवर यू सेंड एनी काइंड ऑफ मैसेजेस ओवर टेलीग्राम मेक श्योर दैट यू मेक योर बॉट एज द एडमिन ऑफ द चैनल ओके सो रिसेंटली वी हैव क्रिएटेड द बॉट विद द नेम एज वेबो कनेक्शन अंडर स्कोर बॉट एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर बॉट शुड बी द पार्ट ऑफ योर ग्रुप ऑफ योर चैनल ओके सो लेट मी क्लिक ऑन दिस ट्वेल्व मेंबर्स एंड हेयर फर्स्टली बाई क्लिकिंग ऑन दिस प्लस आइकन आई एम गोइंग टू एड द वेरी सेम बॉट हेयर ओके सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी माई बॉट clicking on this arrow and now you will notice we have 13 members in this particular group okay and not just to that you will also have to make this particular bot an admin of this particular group okay currently you can notice that uh, this particular bot is not admin and in order to change the permission of this bot i'll have to do this via telegram mobile application because this particular setting is actually not available in this telegram web okay so give me a second firstly i will change the permission of this bot from a normal user to the admin and then i'll click on that button okay give me a second all right so i have changed the permission now firstly i will refresh it and then i will show you the permission of this bot that is webo connection okay so this page has been refreshed okay it is updating now let me show you the number of members and now you can see that our bot that is webo connection is now the admin of this particular group okay so now we can easily send the messages in this particular group okay so coming back to pabli connect clicking on this button save and send this request and and waiting for the response to receive and if the response is received that means the message has been sent going back to my telegram application and here you can notice the message is arrived and it is the same message hello team members we have received a new inquiry of traveling i am sharing the details of the inquiry kindly follow up that person and try to convert at your best and here we have the name of the person the very same email address the very same phone number number of days to travel okay i think i have mapped some other details okay i'll have to correct it okay so coming back to public connected dashboard and let me correct the last detail which i have mapped okay okay so because that detail was actually consist of multiple values basically the drop down i am getting lot of data so i have currently removed that data now i am going to click on this button once again and you will notice that one more message will be arrived and this is going to be a simple message we will not receive such kind of detail okay so here we have the same message okay so in this way with the help of webhook url you can connect your telegram application with a different application and automate the process of sending the channel messages and to automate this whole process you need to create this automation inside public connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because public connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually okay so now onwards what will happen every time any new event happen in your favorite application the data of that application will be received as a webhook response instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time and once we have that data now we can easily send that data to telegram okay so this is how this process is going to be automate and let me tell you in this particular video i have connected jot form and telegram with the help of webhook url but if your application supports webhook then in that case you can connect your application with the help of webhook url very easily with the public connect and just in case if you want to access this two step automation inside your own public connect account i will also attach this link into my description box simply click on that link and sign up for free into the public connect and then you will be able to access the very same workflow inside your own public connect account glad to for free Not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video